Carmen Williams, our newly appointed Assistant Superintendent for Instruction and Innovation. Welcome to the Needham Public Schools. Thank you so much. So glad to be here. We are, we are really thrilled that after a very, uh, very long interview process uh, <laughs> that you uh, accepted, graciously accepted my offer to be our new Assistant Superintendent, yes. um, replacing Terry Duggan, who has been our Assistant Superintendent for, for 17 years. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just so much happening. And, and what is just amazing, even though you officially start in July, You've been in the district several days, uh, meeting folks and, and all that, and we can talk about that. But, yeah. but first, uh, Carmen, if you will, I, I do want to take this opportunity to congratulate you Thank for you. receiving your doctorate from Harvard University just a couple of weeks ago. Yes. After Thank you. a few years of study, um, that is a huge accomplishment, and uh, I know that uh, you and your family are proud. Yeah. So my question is, how did you end up in little old Needham? Um, <laughs> tell, tell, tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. So uh, the backstory, I'm originally from South Bend, Indiana. That's where I was born and raised and did most of my work 20 years as a K-12 public educator. Um, I was an elementary teacher and middle school principal. Uh, while I was a principal, uh, Harvard partnered with my school district to bring data wise in action to our schools. And as a principal, we were really looking for solutions to our inequitable outcomes. Um, similar to Needham and other schools around the district, we really wanted to make sure all students were being served well. And DataWise was a vehicle for us that really worked. Uh, so uh, after engaging in that process and seeing success, I decided that I was ready to take this gospel, if you will, to the masses and share the power of data and uh, supporting students. This was after accountability became kind of a bad word yeah. in public education and we were able to uh, use this to study our practice and I really thought it was very supportive of educators to help them think through and coach them through like what is your practice and what is the impact that you want to make. So I applied to Harvard and was selected um, to join the EDLD cohort 10 class uh, which I just graduated from, and I decided to stay in this area. I was very confident that I did my diligence in passing the baton back home, and we had a successor ready to go, and so I was ready to start a new journey here in Massachusetts. So we have, we have this Midwestern transplant yes. in New England. Um, with your family. Tell yes. us, tell me a little bit oh, about your family. Yes. So um, I'm married and my husband also decided to go back to school with this opportunity to come to Massachusetts and he is finishing up at Berkeley College of Music. I have a daughter who graduated from Purdue University in 2021. Um, so really proud of her. And then I have a son who will be a junior at Pomona College um, out in Claremont, California. And they, so, they all came for graduation for you. They, did. they were all together. That's yes. awesome. Yes, That's great. it was wonderful. At one point, all four of us were college students. It's so yeah. <laughs> a very unique experience for a family to have. That, that is amazing. Well, and yeah. along the way, uh, you decided not only to stay, but also to apply for this position in Needham. And we're, we're really excited that uh, you You've, you've landed here. Um, what, what, uh, what attracted you to this position in, in Needham uh, that said, you know, this, this is the place for me at this point? Yeah, I, I honestly applied to a variety of districts, but this job description was particularly interesting to me because you all have married instruction and innovation together. Um, I think with the pandemic, we've learned a lot of lessons and one of the things we've learned as a field is that we have not been entrepreneurial in our thinking. We haven't had this entrepreneurial spirit. We've tried to comply and maintain. <laughs> and so this idea of innovation and welcoming it was really exciting to me. I had the opportunity to pilot restorative justice and, and bring new ideas and mindsets, not only to my school, but to my district as we were looking at our discipline data. Um, and restorative justice is sometimes counterintuitive. And so this idea of um, inviting folks to the table of restorative justice was a very innovative practice. Um, and so I liked, I enjoyed it. I felt like it was successful and the opportunity to bring about some innovation to Needham uh, seemed like a good challenge. Needham yeah. is already doing many things well, <laughs> but to be able to scale efforts and look at things a little differently seemed like a great opportunity. 
Well, I appreciate hearing that. I think you're just the, the right person for us. As you, you, know, you talk about uh, using data, the, the restorative practices that, that you introduced and thinking creatively and innovatively about uh, teaching and learning um, is, is just uh, spot on for us. So I, I look forward to that. And there's, there's, uh, there's so much to be done here. And of course, I'm, I'm, I'm worried that part of this introduction to the Needham community will be like you know, drinking through a fire hose for you because there's so many people to meet, places to go, so many folks that will want your attention and your ear. And I know I've already told people, well, just give her some space and some <laughs> grace and, and pace yourself and, and we'll get to all of it, but we're not going to try to... Uh, you're not going to try to fix everything or, right. or uh, introduce uh, all kinds of new things right away. Um, tell me a little bit about what actually so far this transition to the district has been. You've already mm -hmm. been here, uh, you haven't officially started, but you've already right. been and, and meeting. Who, who are some of the folks you've met or places you've been to? Yeah, um, I, I feel like most importantly I've had an opportunity to sit down with Terry and she has yeah, really just yeah. um, shared her wisdom, her experiences, um, some of the projects she's really proud of, yeah. and how I can help sustain what is really going well. We also talked about some of the issues I might um, get curious about and mm -hmm. investigate and, mm -hmm. and think about how things can be reworked or, or changed or challenged a little bit. Um, so that has been very helpful. I've had an opportunity to meet with a few principals and just get a look into some classrooms and see how culminating projects are occurring around the district. And so all of that has been really exciting. And there, there's, there's so many um, curriculum leaders and building leaders who are mm -hmm. still uh, eager to see you yes. and, and uh, share some of the really good work that they're doing and, and uh, have you learn about it and also help influence it. Uh, so I think there's a lot that is exciting ahead and um, uh, I know too that the school committee is uh, uh, very eager to um, you know welcome you and, and get a chance to to meet with you and and uh, hear your story and, and see uh, what some of the things that you're thinking about mm -hmm. so um, what would you say are the are the as you as you get as you well first of all you have to move from Indiana to Massachusetts yes, so that's something that's you and your an husband are working move. on yes okay all right well good luck with that thank you <laughs> um, and then once as you as you get settled and you'll be working and getting settled at the same time what are some of the big ideas for this summer for you to continue your your learning um, in Needham what what what's yeah. ahead in the next couple of months um, I think for me I want to learn more about the systems and structures at play and so I know with an entry uh, process, I'll have an opportunity to interview um, leaders, teachers, and parents and understand their perspective and their priorities. Um, but I'm curious about the systems that have orchestrated the work um, to this point and organization chart and, and how everything is fitting together. Um, I know one of the goals is coherence mm -hmm. and helping un everyone understand that we're not completing parts and pieces in isolation, but we're all working towards the same goal. So I'm curious to lift the hood on that. <laughs> lift the hood, I, I love that. Well, you know, I think I said to you during this, this very lengthy interview process uh -huh. uh, that we went through that this is not just so much about the district getting to know you and for us to make a decision about you, mm -hmm. as it has also been about you getting to understand who we are and is this a place where you want to begin the next step in your career? Because that's yeah. just equally important that we, we are all successful. And so in the same way as you begin, it's a matter of how we, uh, in the work we're doing, which I'm mm -hmm. terribly proud of, yeah. um, and I know that there's a lot of work ahead of us. There's some things that we, we, we continue to need to pay attention to. It's a matter of us sharing with you some of our successes and where we're really proud, and it's exactly. also an opportunity for you to help influence some of our thinking. And um, so that's what I like about it. It's we, we both get to influence and impact and, and complement each other uh, in, the, uh, in the work ahead. Agreed. Yeah. Um, and there's just... Uh, Still a lot of folks to meet, mm -hmm. um, moving to do, yes. and, and I, I mean this when I say, you know, for you and, and, for, and for me and for the district, we want to pace our work. Yes. Uh, everything does not have to be done in day one, week one, month one, or even year one. There, mm -hmm. there, there are there, things take time. Mm -hmm. uh, relationships are key in education. Absolutely. And developing those uh, will only propel one's success and the district's success in, in uh in the many months and, and years ahead. Well, Dr. Carmen Williams, congratulations on your recent uh, graduation from Harvard Thank University. Thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. 
thank you for accepting my offer to become our new Assistant Superintendent for Instruction and Innovation. It was my pleasure. <laughs> here's a great, here's to a great summer, and I yeah. uh, look forward to the work ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank pleasure. you.